Okay, so we've gone ahead and used our Hotmail account creator to sign up for an account, and we used our code generator uh, offered on the botguru.net website, which generates all this nice fancy JavaScript here. And what that does is, when it's ran, you'll see here that it automatically fills all this uh, instantaneously. Instead of having to fill in each form, it'll populate everything all at one time, uh, speeding up the process and how many accounts you can actually create. And uh, during our speed test, it was actually proven that uh, it runs twice as fast as running type text um, or change attributes. So what we're going to do here is you see we use different account data for these different things and we're wanting to save this to a list as we run our uh, define command here through a loop. So what we're going to do is say we're looping and we're wanting to create 100 accounts. Well, we'll just drag our Hotmail creator in there. But now say we want to add our details to a list that we can later save. So we're going to add item to list accounts and we're going to start dragging in our account data. For instance, we'll start with account data username, and that's going to be at hotmail.com. And we can go ahead and just insert a comma there. Drag in this next account data, and we'll choose password. And say you want the first name and last name as well. Add a comma. Insert that here, first name, another comma, and we'll do last name. So as you see here, we've got the email, password, first, and last name. So that means every time that this runs and creates an account, it's going to go ahead and add an item to the list with our data. And at the end, we can go ahead and just save that data. So we'll go ahead and save to file we can use our special folder and you could choose desktop application folder however you like I like using the application and keep it right with the program and we'll say hotmail accounts CSV and what that'll do is it'll create a CSV file for us since we have everything comma delimited drag in the accounts list that's it now you'll want to make sure that the list is clear every time you run it so we'll just pop in a clear list up here at the top that's pretty much all you have to do now if you wanted to go steps further with validation which I do recommend is once this here uh, logs in and creates an account for you what you'll do is look to see if something exists on the web page before it saves the details so you would create a if statement and we'll use exists and you could search for something on a web page now it could be you know log out uh, it could be a welcome uh, message it could be anything so you can go ahead and use this and if that item shows on the web page then add to list else do nothing so hopefully this video has helped you out and if you have any questions feel free to get a hold of me I'm lowrider TJ on the UBOT studio forums or you can contact me at admin at botguru.net thank you